Oh my gosh! No! I turn to the voice behind me. No! I take a deep breath of fresh air and the surrounding noise of wind and bird. Wind, the birds, and. Okay, anyways, hi everybody, I'm Degenerate, and welcome to a game called Lurking for Love. Yeah, I saw this, it was already in my library, like, just waiting for me, with this creepy looking picture. So, this is what we're gonna play today. It, this guy kind of reminds me of Lauren Snuggle. Okay, we went straight from creepy music to that country. <laughs> All right, let me just let me get into it. The doorbell. Rub my eyes and wipe away the dry crust. Okay. Consciousness came flooding back to me as I lay on top of my sweaty bed sheets. Oh my gosh, are we a dirt ball? That's this is pretty different from where I lived before. Lines up. I've been here for a few months now, but everything still feels new. I attempt to slap myself off the bed, my legs almost putting me off balance from my drowsy state. As much as I'd like to continue relaxing under the covers, I still have errands to do today. Freshen up first. Okay. I believe. Oh, I didn't pick a name or anything. I kind of just woke up. This is a demo, by the way. I relieve myself and brush my teeth afterward. I squint at the mirror. Look, I'm so tired. I almost forgot where I was. If only I was more patient. Oh my goodness. Or let me check if the characters can actually be of my name. Yes! We found a game that can have more than 11 characters. Let's go. We're gonna do Degenerate. Yes, that's my name. Degenerate. Yep, that's me, all right. I follow up with my usual facial routine as I scrub my face. I hear the doorbell again. Ugh. I go downstairs and make my way through the living room to reach my front door. Check people. Oh yeah, we should check first. Oh, it's him again. He looked tired. Very much reminds me of Lawrence. It's very. It's kind of the same shirt. Or not really. Similar. Similar vibe is what I'm getting from it. Hi, Degenerate. I got your mail by mistake again. Dang, that's the fifth time this month. I wonder what's going on at that post office. This guy is my next door neighbor. Honestly, I don't know anything about him other than that I've seen him work at a retail store close by. Thanks again for bringing my mail. Um, oh no, it's happening again. Uh, Jack, Jacob, Jeremy, or Jack? If you don't know, I don't know. But let's go with Jack. Ow. Oh, my bad. Dang. Okay, Jacob. Oh, sorry, Jacob. I'm not the best with names. He gonna get mad at me for that? <laughs> After he hands over the package and envelope, I place my mail on the coffee table. Open. Coffee table to open. Then I noticed Jacob is still standing there at my doorway. You, you did your task for today. Time to go. Say goodbye. Chat while he's he. He still seems upset that I didn't know his name. But that's not my fault. Let's talk to him. I'm not gonna be mean. So Jacob, how's your day been going? Oh, uh, it's been doing okay. I've been needing to check out this one movie for a while called Revenge of the Jackalopes. Okay. Sounds like it's one of those cheesy old horror films. Yeah, it's an obscure one from the 1950s. It was directed by the same guy who made the movie Invasion of the Schmangies. He also directed the movie Attack of the Barbo Worms. I like that one. I definitely didn't don't recognize any of these movies he's talking about. 
I didn't press anything. Go back. Bro! Why does it keep doing that? Invasion of the Schmangles? Schmangies? I'm, I'm not... At its positives too, but I felt like the writing and attack Lorbo Worms was a little more consistent. Cool up. What is happening? I even changed to the enter key. Those sound like I'm being interrupted. Cool, uh what was I trying to say at the end? Let me see. Oh, I was trying to get back to my package. Okay. So he just kept talking. Weirdo. Cool up. I think they oh I think the point is for him to interrupt. Like for us to see know that he's interrupting. They were this dude. I think they balanced more of the pacing and changed some of the dialogue. The details of why the Schmangle Schmangies were invading made would have made more sense. Hey Jacob. Shut up. <laughs> huh? Your movie knowledge is great, but I gotta run some errands today, so. Oh, sorry about my rambling. Didn't mean to hold you up. Well, you were just standing there before. It's alright. Bye, Jacob. <laughs> Goodbye, degenerate. See you around. Yeah. I closed my door. That was possibly the worst interaction uh, I've had today. I closed my door and focused back to my mail. Let's see here. Bills are in the envelopes, but my package is something I've been waiting for. I open the box and yes, my new band name T-shirt. Bewitched Blood. I got into this band recently called Bewitched Blood. It played locally here a few months ago, but they weren't selling merch at the time. Like they got popular pretty fast. Now their shirts are almost out of stock on their website. I'll have to wear this out soon. Maybe I'll find some other fans in the area. But for now, I gotta catch up with work a bit. I thought I had errands. Is this the errands? Having a remote online job has its pros and cons. Oh, okay. It's nice to get my work done from home, but sitting down all day does take a toll on my back. Most of it involves sending documents back and forth, then once in a while having to print them. I wish ink cartridges weren't so expensive. Damn, how, how much are they? Look, I can feel my stomach growl. I managed to get quite a good chunk of work done for today. My fridge has been nearly cleaned out for a while. But time to get some groceries. There go the errands. Hop into my car and went to the nearby market. Please let's not meet him here. He's, he looks like the type of person who stays home. I grab a cart and make my way through each aisle. I get some canned food, some pastas, and a few of my favorite snacks. As I pass by the meat section, I see a familiar figure. It's Jacob! Surprise! He seems to be deep in thought. Leave him alone approach. We're gonna get as close as possible to this dude. <laughs> I feel like even if we don't approach him, he's gonna approach us. Like, come on now. I stand a bit closer to the meats and catch my neighbor's attention pretty quickly. Well, oh, howdy! <laughs> well, howdy, Degenerate. Nice to see you again so soon. Why do you look so mad? Hello again. Just here picking up some groceries. I'm way overdue. During the brief pause of our conversation, I scan over the various shades of red behind the glass. Jacob seems to be staring intently at the fish fillets. So, Jacob, you like seafood? I love seafood. I do too. I have been in the mood for some salmon lately. He fidgets in his spot for a moment. Hey, uh, I plan on cooking the salmon tonight. I said salmon earlier. And I was wondering, maybe you want to come over for dinner? I cook so much that I always have leftovers, so it'd be nice to share this with someone else. That's actually really nice. You can join me for a movie night, too, while we eat together. I mean, why not? That sounds great! Cause I love seafood. Shrimp, lobster, crabs, um, all fish, squid, calamari. Beautiful. I hate the ocean, but I love the animals that come out of it. Look them up and serve them. 
guy's offering me free dinner and a movie? Honestly, I'll take it. I don't want- no, I don't have to cook for myself tonight. Okay. I'm not thinking of this romantically, that's- that's nice. Oh, he seems like a nice guy, I wouldn't mind getting to know him more. Let me stop talking. I need to stop getting ahead of myself. That's great, how does 6pm sound? I'm sure to have the salmon done before you get here. Yeah, sounds good, I'll see you then. I pay for my groceries, pack them in my car, and drive home. After putting all my groceries away, I let myself have a light snack so I can have an appetite- my, save my appetite for later. In the meantime, I'll just catch up with some of my current TV shows. What, Attack on Titan? Looks like it's 6 p.m. now. I'll start heading over to Jacob's house. It- what? You gonna wait till 6 p.m. to leave? Oh, it's Halloween? Next to my house was Jacob's bungalow. Once in a while, I do see him sitting at his patio chair. Sometimes he'll even wave at me after I come home. I knock on his door. I hear some clicking and budging until... Degenerate? Please, come in. Alright, pretty spacious in here. I like it. And it's clean. I guess that's what him and Lawrence don't have in common. Make yourself at home. Get cozy on the couch if you'd like. I, can sc I scan around the small living room. His modern TV sticks out from the rustic appearance of everything else. Also, I see a fish tank. I know I, know I said the salmon was going to be done before you get here, but I ended up forgetting one of, my, one of the ingredients, so I had to make an extra trip back to the store. Dang, that must have been pretty annoying. Yeah, but it was worth it. I wanted to make sure everything was perfect. <laughs> oh, God! For you. Okay. Suddenly the kitchen timer went off. The aroma of cooked fish filled the room. It's just about done now. Let me set up our plates. What's with the fish? He walked over to his small kitchen and took out the salmon from the oven. The aroma is even stronger now, and my stomach growls in response. <laughs> How did he hear it from all the way over there? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's hungry. I can hear you from all the way over here. Calm down, bro. Jacob comes over to the couch and sits next to me, handing over my plate. It's just fish. Thanks. My food look- No rice? Nothing? Like, oh my. That's not a good sign. My food looks like it came straight out of one of those fancy cooking magazines. I guess. Looks good. But the real question is, does it taste good? I cut a flaky piece off with the side of my fork and put it in my mouth. Shocker. I just had a food wars moment. Jacob, this is delicious. This tastes even better than fish I've had at restaurants. Really? That's sweet of you to say. I knew making that extra store trip was worth it. What did you get to make it? So, you know? Now let me start up the movie. Ooh. Not the best movie to watch while eating. Both focus on the screen as we eat our dinner together. This Revenge of the Jackalopes movie didn't have, did have cheesy acting and effects as I expected, but I found it more charming than outright bad. We both finish our dinner pretty early into the movie, but at least I can give my full focus on the plot now. From what I'm understanding, the Jackalopes are trying to are tired of being hunted and experimented on, and now they're rampaging the Midwest. Oh wow, the guy got his eye gouged out by a pair of antlers. While I'm distracted, I feel weight shifting behind me. Then suddenly, then something grazing against the back of my neck. Oh, head, head, head. <laughs> Why is it so easy to, like, impress me? Jacob's arm is wrapped around the top of the couch. Look at that face! What is- what's- what's he thinking about? <laughs> His hand was resting on my shoulder. Did he forget that I was here? Or is this deliberate? Come on now. You know he's trying to ridge you up. Let it go, speak up. Let it go! He's rizzing you. Don't make it awkward. Like, come on. I stay perfectly still calculating his moment, movements. As if he read my mind. I felt his hand rubbing my shoulder in a circular motion. It was relaxing. Nice. 
I felt myself zoning out towards the end of the movie. My eyes were fluttering. That's weird. It doesn't seem close to my usual bedtime. Are you serious? We can't just have a normal, like, day or just night. Like, I can't. I can't. We always end up getting drugged or something. That was the secret ingredient. Chloroform. Come on. Tired? Yes, Jacob, I'm tired. He gently wrapped his arm completely around me. My head rests against his shoulder. His body is warm. Huh? <laughs> Sleep well, sunshine. I died. Oh. <laughs> I feel myself tossing and turning in my sleep. Bring my... You gonna keep doing this? We gonna keep doing this? I stretch my limbs and... It's not my house. Well, yeah, you fell asleep here. Morning, degenerate. Did you sleep? What the fuck? Did you sleep okay? I did, actually. Hey, what happened last night? You fell asleep during the end of the movie. I didn't want to disturb you. So, I let you sleep here. Rizatron 9000. He stepped closer and grabbed something draped across my shoulders. It was a blanket. What kind? You got a blanket. I didn't want you feeling cold in the middle of the night, so I sort of tucked you in. I also made us some breakfast. It's nothing special, just some eggs and toast. We look out his window. It's still dark. How? What time is it? <laughs> what time is it? How long was I asleep for? Let's see. Well, we finished the movie around 8 p.m., which is when you fell asleep. Right now, it's 4.35 a.m.? I was asleep for eight hours? That's normal sleep time. Yep, you got a full night's rest. Oh, from eight, though. That's really strange. I usually fall asleep much later than that. How come you're awake so early? Because he drugged us yesterday. My sleep sketch was kind of everywhere. I'm a night owl. Not a shocker. Plus, I wanted to watch the sunrise. That's nice. You know, this. First he says something weird, and then he covers it up with something cool afterwards. I understand. I know how you do. Jacob walks over to his kitchen and comes back with two plates. Here, you'll think better after you eat. Get breakfast? Ah, I'm gonna have breakfast! I'm hungry. I'd feel bad if I declined his generosity. He was kind enough to let me sleep here and even make me food twice in a row. I grab the plate in front of me and sit back down on the couch. Does he not have a dining table or a table? Just anything? Thanks, Jacob. It looks good. What was it again? Eggs? And bacon? He comes to sit next to me with his own plate. Ew, toast? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I love toast. Toast is good. I take a few bites of my toast. It's crispy and buttery. Jacob cuts into his eggs and dips his toast into the yolk. Ah! Fried egg? It felt a little awkward only hearing each other's loud crunching in, in between bites. Get to know him, keep it. Let's keep getting to know him. You might learn something. So Jacob, you got any hobbies? I see a fish tank in the corner of your room over there. He nearly jolts up from his seat in response. Yeah, I really like fish keeping. And eating them, apparently. Cool, what, do you, what got you into fish keeping? Well, I used to go fishing a lot with my dad. I remember being upset how I couldn't keep the fish I caught. Then he introduced me to fish keeping. It's a nice little thing, decorating the tank and choosing what kinds of fish you want. They like to follow your finger too. Or when I talk to them, they'll follow my voice. Sometimes I'll watch them swim around for hours. Okay. He takes a large bite out of his toast. Do you have a favorite fish? Salmon is... <laughs> Which I feel like that's a basic answer. Salmon is my number one, both in taste and in looks. Little weird, but okay. Sakai salmon even is, has my favorite colors together. Red and green. Yeah, salmon is pretty cool. Mind if I look at your tank? Go ahead. Okay. I couldn't help but squint as my eyes adjusted to the bright red light, lighting of the tank. 
The enclosure itself was neatly decorated with an array of aquatic plants and little caverns for fish to hide in. There also appears to be a few pieces of decor that reference various TV shows and movies. Oh yeah, I, d I just noticed! The Jaws shark and then the Spongebob house. Do you have a favorite fish in the tank? I usually try not to play favorites when it comes to my pets, but I like the- Whoa, I can't say that. I don't even know what that says. Place... Hmm. I'm not even gonna try. Wait, which one? The big black fish that sucks on the glass. They're also known as Plesos. I'm gonna say Plesos then. Oh. His name is Captain. He keeps the tank clean. Hello, Captain. Hi. The fish stares blankly at its surroundings. His... He's in his own little world. I like how the Plesos look and how helpful they are at keeping algae low. You can also feed them pieces of cucumber. Fun watching them eat. They're also bottom feeders, which means they can actually eat more than just plants, like dead fish. Pesos can kill if they want to, but I make sure Captain is well fed so he doesn't attack the other fish. Okay. There's also the angelfish. Despite their name, they can actually be pretty aggressive. I only keep a few of them so they don't fight. They fight each other? What the hell is wrong with fish? They usually start fighting with each other when they want a partner for themselves. Oh. You see, I blame them. I sit back down and finish the remaining pieces of food on my plate. Hope you enjoyed the little fish tour. I did, that was nice. Hey, your fish are pretty neat. Thanks. Sometimes I show off my fish tank and fish keeping forums. But showing someone my hobby in person feels much more special. Uh oh. It means a lot to me, Degenerate. And he finish as he finishes his breakfast, he takes both our plates back to his kitchen. Am I gonna doze off again? I should start heading back home now. Thanks again for the movie night and breakfast. I still feel bad for sleeping here on accident. Don't worry about it. You're always welcome here whenever. I make my way towards the front door to leave, but... Oh, he's got the locks! He's got locks! Just like... Just like Lawrence! Oh my goodness. Why are there so many locks? Here, let me get those for you. He unlocks each piece of security quite slowly as if he purpose he's purposely taking a sweet time. <laughs> Finally, he takes out a ring of small keys from his pocket and unlocks the last piece. Bye, have a good day. Thanks, you too. That was so weird. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I know y'all see it, bro. Like, look at it. Look at him in the fuck. <laughs> I'm tearing up. I can't. Look at him in the corner, bro. In the in the doorway. I can't. I walk back towards my house. It's still dark outside and I find myself yawning as I get to my front door. That is so creepy. <laughs> I make my way up to my room even though I've slept a whole eight hours. I still feel a little drowsy because it's the food. Okay. I got settled down in bed. My mind begins to wander. Something about my neighbor does feel off. Who needs that many locks on the door? It's Texas. But I'm, I guess I can't blame him. I've heard some people going missing in this area. There hasn't been another missing person for a while, though. I don't have the energy to overthink things right now. I shut my eyes and fall asleep. The doorbell wakes me from my slumber. I feel groggy as I rub my eyes. Alright, morning time. After freshening up in the bathroom, I head towards the front door again. No choice to look at the peephole. I need you to sign this. You want to fix your attitude before I do that? I'm so used to seeing a different blonde guy show up at my door for <laughs> that for once. I was not expecting the mailman. I don't think I've seen this one around before, though. 
Okay, right here? Yeah. I give him back the clipboard, but before handing over my package, he scans over the paper carefully. Degenerate? Cute name you got there. Okay? What's going on here? What are we doing? Um, thanks. Name's Austin. You're new in town, yeah? Yes. Well, I moved here a few months ago, so I'm not really that new. That explains it. I should have known you ain't from around here. Don't get too many people like you in this town. Like me? What's going on? You mean black? Is that what you mean? Are you racially motivated? And what do you mean by that? Nothing, just... Mm. <laughs> not too many hotties living here, you know? Who the f*** are you to be talking to me like this? Look, can I just have my package now? I don't have time for this. Please, calm down. Loosen up a bit. You should be thankful someone is talking to you. Excuse me? Um, Jacob was just talking to me. Oh yeah? How so? Don't it get lonesome around here? Being new and all? I can be your first friend. Oh, you're one of these guys. Die! He leans an arm against my doorway, bringing his body closer to me. Can you- And if you give me a chance, I can even be your boyfriend. Kill yourself. Don't- Get away from me. In the corner of my eye, I see Austin's free hand slither its way around my waist. Stop! You're approaching this all wrong. Before I could speak, another man grabs Austin's shoulders and tugs him away from me. Hey, you're gonna give them the package or not? What's up, Jacob? Protecting me? Who the hell are you? That's Jacob. That doesn't matter. Give them the package. Austin looks down at Jacob. Down? He's tall. Um, you're taller? Well, it just so happens that this is the last trip I need to make for today. I don't mind doing a little overtime. What? Give them the damn package and get your creepy ass out of here. Yeah! Get! Jacob's voice boomed in my chest. I've never heard him raise his voice like that before. Oh. All right, jeez, I need to make a scene. Relax. You relax! Go find some other bitch to hit on. I am not the one. Austin carelessly tosses my package to me despite the label saying fragile. I don't think he even saw that. He walks back to his mail truck before driving off. He gives a wink in my direction. So even after all that, he still has the audacity to still try to riz me up. It looks like Jacob saw that too and raised the middle finger at him before he drives off. Um, hey Jacob. That guy didn't touch you, right? Oh, well, he did. Well, he had his hand around me, but I was ready to push him away. I can see Jacob shaking a bit. If that asshole ever bothers you again, you let me know, okay? I'm gonna let him know, cause he dealt with him, so it's like, why not? It's probably a good idea to have someone close by as a helpful hand, or even a witness. If having another person around me works, then soon enough, that creepy mailman will fuck off for good. Or at least treat me with respect. Thanks, Jacob. I looked out at my box. But hey, at least my mail arrived at my door this time. He, st <laughs> he didn't like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jacob, I'll see you later. Bye. See ya! I close my front door and begin opening my package. Cutting open the tape, I look into the contents inside and find... Two kitty mugs! A bowl, a mug and a bowl, I mean. I'm dumb. My new Meowshin kitty mug and matching bowl. I'm glad these didn't get damaged during shipping or with Austin's poor handling. I set my new mug and bowl in my kitchen to use later. Since today is my day off, I think it would be good a good time to explore the town. The Texas heat has kept me indoors for a while, but since it's autumn, the weather has gotten cooler. I make my way upstairs to get properly dressed and walk to the park. This park in the neighborhood has seen a few trails, some benches, and a playground. A lot of orange trees and colorful flowers spread along the path I'm walking on. It really is nice to get out of the house for a little while. I take a deep breath of fresh air and the surrounding noise of wind and bird- wind, the birds, and- <laughs> With 
what was that? A camera shutter? Stop. Looks like my neighbor is here at the park too. I didn't know he's into photography. His camera's aiming in my direction. He stops taking pictures when our gays meet each other. Nice to see you so soon. At this point, I know you're following me. Come on, we know the deal. <laughs> Were you taking pictures of me? What are you taking pictures of? So let's be a little... Let's be a little dumb. Oh, just the fountain here. And some of the surrounding scenery. He looks down at his camera. So, Jacob, are you some kind of photographer? Yep, started off... I started as a hobby during high school, and eventually it became a nice side job. I love what I do. I bet you do. Cause I need to get a picture of my sweet ass. It's good to hear. Do you have any favorite pictures you've taken lately? Yeah, but since I'm using a film camera, the pictures have to be physically developed to view them. That means I can't look at it. Yeah, I know what- He's a smart cookie. It does take some work, but the process is worth it. The results look phenomenal. I bet they do! Jacob fiddles with his camera strap for a bit and keeps one hand on his lens. Loud ass camera! His other hand looks, looks really pressed. Ready to press the button. Would you like to be a model for me? All you have to do is strike a couple poses. I need some new material for my portfolio. Yeah, like what? You probably have millions of photos of me though. But how about this time we do it consensually, shall we? Sounds like fun. Do you have any particular poses you want me to try? Anything that makes you comfortable. I try pulling off some simple poses like peace signs with my hands and sitting at the fountain. I give some smiles and a few stoic looks. The constant shuddering from Jacob's camera tells me he's really into those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's he's gonna be put into the weird bucket. I try out some other poses, a few of which were from anime shows I've watched. I see his expression change to a smirk. I wonder if he got my references. <laughs> you know, degenerate. I don't know if anyone's told you this before, but you're really photogenic. Really? It means you naturally look good in photographs. I can feel my face blushing. It's really sweet of you to say. Jacob flips his camera to its side and holds down a button on the bottom. The other hand flicks up a tab from the top of the camera and begins to turn and begins to turn it up. It's like I've used all my roll of film. <laughs> I look forward to developing these later. Thank you for being my model. No problem. I'm happy to help. Can't wait to see how your photos turn out. Do you have a website I can view them on? Or maybe... Or maybe make some physical copies? I'd love to own a few. The, actually, these are... Uh, they're for a private portfolio. I feel taken aback. Private? I bet the, the file is called Spank Bank. Huh? Yeah, my private portfolio is meant for like showing it to professional companies and stuff. If I post my best work publicly, people might steal my work, you know? He is like that quick. I suppose that makes sense. Oh, okay then. Well, good luck with your portfolio. I'll see you around. Bye, degenerate. Thanks again. He's quick with it. He's smart, definitely. One of them. I walk away from the fountain and follow a different path. I sit myself down to a nearby bench. This park is nice, but I'm curious what else the town has to offer. I get out my phone and search for what stores are nearby, other than the grocery store and a small retail outlet. Looks like there's a mall. A mall? The day is still young, time to head back. As I make my way home, I grab my car keys and drive my way to the mall. Okay. Ooh, like hot topic. I'm surprised to find a pop topic inside the mall. I haven't been inside one of these since I was a teenager. The walls were covered in shirt designs for sale. 
ranging from bands, cartoons, and anime. I turn to my left to spot a whole section dedicated to plushies. Wait, is that? Ooh, jumbo size meow sheen plush. Get it! I squeeze the plush, then give it a big hug. Oh my god. So squishy! I slam my money down on the counter and pay for my new plush. No way I was gonna leave without him. Right? We twins for real. After some further browsing of the other shops, I didn't see anything else that interested me. Although the food court looks pretty good. I was so busy shopping, I completely forgot to have lunch. It's already dinner time. I scan over the different options available, and a red glowing sign that catches my eye. Behind the glass is an array of noodles, rice, and all sorts of different veggies and meats. And express? Pod Kra Pao Pho Pork Larb Tom Yum Soup That food sounds great right now. I stem it. I am so surprised I pronounced all those decently. I step into the line and wait among the other customers. So what are you getting? No! I turn to the voice behind me. No! Man, not this guy! I said, what are you getting? Chinese food? You're such an ass. It's Thai. No, this is the line for the Thai food. Same thing. And he's a racist! So what's good here? <laughs> I was gonna get some takeout from here. Maybe some pork larb. That's good. What's that? It's a dish with seasoned pork mixed with some chili and vegetables. You can wrap it in some lettuce and eat it like that, or you can eat it with the side of rice. It's really good. What else is there? Bro. I point at the large TV screens behind the, the workers. Well, they do have a giant menu you can read from. Oh, you brought my name. How could I forget the asshole that threw my package at me? How could I forget? Seriously? I rolled my eyes and turned away from him. Can this line move any faster? Come on. I think it's really sweet you remembered. We only just met and now you've... You're already thinking about me? Flattered. Ugh. Tell them off, ignore. Actually! The only reason why I remember you is because you were such a dick. <laughs> it's because you were a dick. Yeah. Tell them off. Look, Austin. I just want to get my dinner and go home. I'm not in the mood to talk right now. Wow, that's cold. But hey, I get it. You're just moody because you're hungry. Oh my gosh! Are you misogynistic too? You said you're getting pork, right? Do you like pork sausage too? If you ever want to come over to my place for dinner, I can show you some real good pork sausage. Can you please die? This fucking pervert. I'm not gonna answer any of his dumb questions anymore. Hey, it's rude to ignore someone when they're talking to you. Well, when you say stupid shit like that, Leave me alone! You're being a stick in the mud. Come on now. Tell you what, how about I give you my number? How was that helping in any way? I already remember your address. I can pick you up anytime you want. Just give me a call. Stop! Right there! Does this creep ever shut up? No. He's a dab of mouth. Who even says shit like this? Austin takes out a crusty napkin. Ugh. And pen from his pocket. He scribbles down his number and hands it to me. I don't want it. I got so many numbers in my phone. I like, you know, I. It's full storage. Oh, I get it now. You ain't much of a phone caller. That's fine. Oh my gosh. Why are you still talking to me? How about we just text? Or would you rather have me come over instead? Keep ignoring him. Cause if you- uh, <laughs> He's the type of bitch who will keep talking to you even though you're ignoring them. Cause he knows you're ignoring him. So of course he's gonna keep piling on the stupidity so that you could finally give up. And like, like, you know? So you're gonna have to just give up. 
It's clear that this guy isn't going to leave me alone. Looks like I'll play along even if it means feeding his already big ego. I swipe the napkin, napkin out of his hand and crumple it in my pocket. Hopefully that'll shut him up. I knew you wanted me. I'll see you around. I'm not really in the mood for Chinese food. Go away! Thank you. Finally, that creep left. I thought I'll sigh and inch my way forward the line. That was so painful to have to sit through. Eventually, I ordered my pork lard and some egg rolls. Ooh, egg roll. I think I'd rather eat my dinner in peace at home than here. Cause yeah, he's just gonna come back. Probably pull up a table, flip it around, start talking to me like, yeah, 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 yeah. shut up! No more. I drive back home and I can feel my stomach rumbling. What a kitchen. The noon is already out of... That's what? The moon's already out by the time I walk through the door. I feel like one of these CGs is gonna scare me. He's gonna be in the background of one of them, and I'm gonna be terrified. I set my Mushin <laughs> Mushin plush on the couch and searched through the plastic bag full of food. Yikes, the sauce for the egg rolls leaked everywhere. Oh, I hate when that happens. It happens every time you get food like that. The styrofoam box is drenched. The plastic bag, though, pristine. Keeps all that shit together. I do have that Miaoshi dinner set. I'll just scoop my food into that. Perfect. I open my cupboards and grab the matching bowl and mug. Very cute. I slide my dinner into the clean bowl and pour myself a glass of refreshing water. Water droplets split right, spilled right onto my shirt. My mug is chipped. Not there before. No. The Austin did toss my package instead of just handing it over. Unless maybe he dropped the box before ringing the my doorbell. Wait. I guess I'll just turn this into a pencil holder. No way. Did the CG? Now I gotta look back. I'm gonna be so pissed. Was this dude in my house? Cause I don't think it was chit before. I bring my dinner to my office and turn on my PC. No way! I set my dinner down at my desk and eat while browsing the web. It's been a while since I checked my friend space account. Let's see what's new. <laughs> Whose profile picture is that in the corner? <laughs> I'm a big Meowshin fan. Feel free to message me about anything. Collector, gamer, and meme enjoyer. How old are we? Everything looks about the same until I open my notification box. Oh, this person liked a lot of my a lot of posts I made. Looks like I received a friend request from a username Salmon Salmon VHS. Click on his profile. It's literally wait, let's read I wanna read everything. If anyone within Rockford, Texas area needs an old vintage camera repairs or PC repairs, feel free to send me a private message. I've been fixing old tech ever since my middle school years and I've served Many satisfied customers. Okay, so he can fix computers. I know that's gonna come into play. Oh, it's so my neighbor's profile. Most of his posts are him advertising his photography business. Apparently, he also fixes computers. He does come off as someone who's tech savvy. I scrolled down and noticed that his friends list only had two people. One account named John Alden is probably one of Jacob's fan members. Second profile seems to be a meme account. He's gotten the most comments under a post about a lost TV show he's been archiving. Something called Bappy the Horse? Never heard of it. But it looks like a lot of people were thankful he chose lost footage of six, 1960s cartoon. Other than that, the occasional reblock of John Alden. He doesn't seem to get any other interactions. I hover to my I hover my mouse over the request of the We might as well. Except, he seems like a lonely guy. I'm sure it wouldn't hurt to add him. He's weird, but he's nicer than fucking Austin. I do want to make more friends around here too, so this is a win-win. I click the accept friend request button and refresh my page. Maybe he could tell me more about his Bappy the Horse cartoon he found. It'll be a refreshing read during my work break. Speaking of work... Well, that's not English. I open my work document, 
I have to make sure I get this printed and shipped out soon. I click the print out button and wait for my paper. Huh? The notification pops up on my screen. Out of ink. God. Well, looks like I'll just have to buy some tomorrow morning. I'll finish the remainder of my Thai food and leave the office with my bowl. I make sure every time. Because he could be in the background of any of these pictures. I place my dinnerware in the sink. Walking across the room, my foot steps on something. <laughs> ah! He was definitely in this house. I pick up the envelope, a love letter for me. Outside is adorned with drawings of red hearts. How nice. The back of the envelope has a heart sticker on the flap. I peel it away and open it. To my darling. One of my favorite pieces of poetry, poetry reminds me of you. It says my... Well, say me. Among the vast oceans of foamy waves, the salty air and gray storms, I've yet to come across another being within these ties that capture me so. No pristine shine of scales nor silver can tempt me, for the true treasure I seek is you. How cute. Love your secret admirer. I tried to draw a swordfish. But you did well. Oh, that's sweet. Little doodles are cute too. It's like they've been drawn with glitter pens. To be honest, I didn't expect to gain someone's attention so quickly. You have to know who this is. But whoever this person is, they've definitely got my attention too. I smile to myself and head upstairs. I fold the letter back into the envelope and place it on my nightstand. I tuck myself into bed and doze off. The sunshine pierces through my curtains and covers my face. I stretch out my limbs and shift myself out of bed. It was- that was obvious. Come on. It's around the afternoon. Sleeping in nice feels so nice. Sleeping in feels so nice. But I still need to go out today. I have to get the printer ink. Before I do that, it's a little ripe. I'll take a shower before I leave. I gather up some clean clothes and came across my bewitched blood t-shirt. Perfect. Oh yeah, I should wear this today. I fold my shirt and bring it with me to the bathroom. I placed my clothes by the sink and made sure to use the bathroom and brush my teeth. Turning the knob, warm water sprays out of the shower head. I undress and step right in. It's nice. I needed this. Please don't do something creepy. I didn't think we had to like read the whole shower. I lather up my body in soap and wash off the grime. I reach for my new bottle of shampoo, but something looks off. Worked up? What? Why is some of it already gone? Did it leak out? Yeah. Mans was in this house yesterday. While I was gone. Well, that's annoying. I guess the bottle is faulty or something. I squeeze out a bit in into my palm and start washing my hair. Whew. Not clean. I dry myself with my towel and start putting me on my set of clothes. I look in the mirror and my new shirt fits great. I grab my keys and head out the door to the retail store. Where he works. Or that... That's what we said earlier, right? I comb through the various aisles and reach the electronics section. <coughs> oh! Okay, he does work here. Need help with anything? I jumped from my spot. Oh gosh, it's Jacob. Hey Jacob! What's up? He seemed to notice my startled expression. I didn't mean to scare you. Kinda have an effect on people sometimes. Fix your eyes. So, Degenerate, what are you looking for? I just need some ink, my guy. I need help looking for some printer ink. I ran out of black ink for my printer. I have the... We have those in stock. Let me grab them one time. <laughs> Damn! Sonic? I mean, it's good to know this place has a good customer service. In a flash, he comes back with a big smile on his face. I got it. Here you go. Okay. Calm down. Peace. My hand- <laughs> he, hand <laughs> he hands me the cartridge box. I look over the number model. This is the exact one I needed for my printer. Yeah, that that solidifies it. He was in my house yesterday. 
Yep, just like you wanted. But how did you know what brand I use and the number type? This type of ink is brought really often, so I took a lucky guess. <laughs> what did I say? He's a quick witted dude! So quick! Literally. He doesn't fumble with his words at all. How long have you been doing this? Mmm. Suspicious. Thank you for finding the ink I need. It's no problem at all. I'm really happy to help. This might sound weird, but did you. Did you shower today? Yes. Yeah, I did. Why? When you. St when you stand by me, I can smell you. We love that. Wait, I thought I washed myself thoroughly. Do I stink that bad? No, no, not like that. I meant you smell nice. You smell fresh and clean, like soft ocean breeze on a summer's night. It's really nice. Thank you. Weirdo. Both of us turned our heads next to us. Austin! Get a- He has a job. Oh no. This man bun! Racist! Misogynist! Can you talk to everyone you meet like that? What about you? I can say the same about you! It's called a compliment. Not that you would know what that is. Do y'all know each other? Nah, you're a fucking weirdo, man. Look who's talking, mister. I like wrapping my arms around strangers. <laughs> I love it though. We love the drama. Oh yeah, that's real funny coming from someone who keeps taking degenerates mail. Nah, -uh, you better watch that mouth of yours to a customer. <laughs> he steals my mail. Wait, what? Jacob, were you deliberately taking my mail? Yeah, Jacob, tell the general why you keep taking their mail. Fuck you, Austin. I only took your mail to keep it away from this moron. Quick. I saw this guy open people's packages before. I didn't want that happening to you, so I made sure to keep your mail safe for me. I'm completely shocked. So it's back to you, Austin. Austin, is that true? Tell the man rolled his eyes. Wow! No, this guy's a creep and a liar. I wouldn't be surprised if he was taking your mail just to get closer to you. Alright, Austin. I get it. I get it. Guys, I'm irresistible. I understand. This, though, needs to stop. Then how do you explain this? Jacob took out his phone and put the- A video he recorded! Got the footage shows Austin tearing into multiple envelopes, opening with- Looks like birthday cards and taking money out of it. How did he know it was a birthday card? I didn't know he knew about that. Look, that was only one time. You're not getting paid enough at your post office job. No, you did it multiple times. Do you have all the video footage, Jacob? Oh my gosh. This is so scandalous. I love this. Jacob then opens a folder with... MULTIPLE VIDEOS OF Austin's BEHAVIOR Yeah, not so tough now, huh? <laughs> you got him! That's really fucking creepy, man. Um, if he sees you do it once, he's gonna record it so that he has evidence for the next time. Duh. No, not when you're committing a crime. Whatever, man. <laughs> Look, I won't be doing that ever again. I gotta keep this job. You better delete those videos or else. Oh no, we're gonna keep them. Or else what? Are you threatening me? Or else I'll make your life a living hell. How about that? Would you like me to call security? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Skedaddle! As Austin leaves, he purposely bumps his hip against the table of items on display, knocking the boxes on the ground. How immature. Whoops! Jacob grits his teeth and clenches his hands into shaky fists. Asshole. He started stacking everything back up again. I give him a hand and pick up the remaining boxes. Thanks, Degenerate. Didn't think we had to go through that today. But, uh, enjoy your printer ink. Like I'm gonna drink it. Thank you. <laughs> if you need help looking for something else, for anything else, just let me know. Cause you're gonna be right there. Just, you know? I do have a question. Why haven't you reported Austin about him stealing? I've tried to, but the post office doesn't believe me, even with the videos I took. What? That's impossible! 
They said the footage was captured from too far away, so they can't completely confirm whether it's him or not. Bro! We just confirmed it! Jacob pulls out his phone, showing me some other- Are you sure about this, Jacob? It's bullshit. It's so obvious. The him. Some douchey man bun. Same here. It's him. Admittedly, the footage does look a bit grainy, but it's definitely Austin. It's dumb. The post office doesn't believe you. I know, right? I would have used my better cameras to record this, but they're being used for something else. You're so adorable! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what a cutie! Anyway, I should probably get back to work and see you around. He puts his phone back into his pocket and awkwardly smiles at me. I wave goodbye to him as I walk towards the checkout area. The way he stands is weird though. After paying for my ink, I walk- I make my way back home. Still taken aback by what happened. That was so fun. It was nice to get back home so quick. I place my ink cartridge in my office and replace it later. Right now I'm starving. I make myself a quick bowl of cereal and sit down on my couch. I turn on my TV and flip through the various channels. Crimson Lake open to the book. Uh oh, what happened to Crimson Lake? In other words, police have finished their investigation at Crimson Lake. All remains of the body have been uncovered. The identity was of a man in his late 20s named Jesse Hewitt. He was found with over 60 stab wounds in his chest, rope burns around his wrist, and missing eyes. Autopsy report says his heart is missing from his chest? Another case from a, a year ago had similar results. Amy Fernandez was another victim who suffered a familiar fate. Her body was being also being absent of a heart. Bro, whoever has been doing this, these killings, has always left the chest cavity of the victims empty. Police are still on the lookout for this, this unknown killer, but the crime scene has been thoroughly searched. Crimson Lake is now open again to the public. No way. Wow, that's gruesome. The name Jesse Hewitt is familiar. I do recall reading about this in an article online. Oh no, he went missing about three months ago before I moved here. It's a shame he had to die in such a brutal way. Open or not, I don't think I'll be visiting that lake anytime soon. I we might be. <laughs> I picked up my remote and changed the channel to something more happy. Courage! The cowardly dog! Yay, cartoons! The network is even playing one of my favorite, Sammy the Scaredy Cat. Oh, we love it. In this episode, he has to save his owners from a shadow demon. Even though he kidnapped Sammy's owners, the demon never meant any harm. He was just lonely. Aww. Wait a minute. <laughs> no! I opened my eyes at the sound of- I think it's Austin. Well, I must have dozed off. It's Austin! I took out my phone from my pocket. Remember calling me doesn't look like anyone I know. Let's answer it, because I want to find out if I'm right. I press the green button. Answer normally. Mess with the call. Answer normally! Hello? No response. Hello? So no response, but it sounds like someone is- Ugh! I hate that! This is so weird. I think you've got the wrong number. Bye now. Be dark out. I took my wall clock. 8.05 p.m. I guess I can make myself a late dinner. I get scared of this, this picture. I go ahead and make myself a quick sandwich. That has the spot. My mail slot. Envelope falls onto the floor. Wait, are they still out there? No. Creepy! Go away! Dang, whoever left this has fast legs. I pick up the envelope. Another love letter. I pull the sticker and fold out the paper. Oh! To my darling, you really are my sunshine on a cloudy day, and I hope every time you wake up in the morning, you'll think about my letters. I can't stop thinking about you and your cute smile. You make me so happy more than you know. I love you very much. Hugs and kisses as you get in my work. P.S. Bewitched Blood is a great band. Jacob! Oh wow. But they also enjoy Bewitched Blood. Awesome. How did they know I like that band? Wait, my shirt. The only place I went to today was the retail store. Could my secret admirer be an employee? 
Are we dumb? Or maybe it was another customer. Whoever they are, they got good taste in music. I finished the rest of my sandwich and head upstairs. I can hear a soft pitter patter of rain against my windows. This is, this is perfect sleeping weather. I put my new love letter next to the previous one and tuck myself into bed. It does feel nice to be loved. Does it? My heart is racing as I jolt out of bed. Looks like the rainy weather became a storm. I checked the time on my phone, 9.45 a.m. I still have to print out that work document. I guess I'll go get freshened up. As I make my way downstairs, I immediately head to my office to replace my old cartridge. I flip the hood up on my printer and take out the old cartridge. I reach into the plastic bag and take out the new one, but the box is already open. What? It's empty. Hold on. I look at the date of the cartridge in my hand. Yeah, this one is the new one. I guess I must have replaced my cartridge last time. Oh! Hi. While I was in my own home, he replaced the cartridge. I put the new cartridge back inside the printer. I print out my work document, fold it into an envelope, and add it at a stamp. I'll bring this to the post office later. Now we gotta see this man again. Speaking of mail, I should check my front porch for any packages. I look in the refreshing smell of rain. Small puddles form along the sidewalk of my house. I don't see any mail for myself, but I do see Austin nearby. Looks to be him right now. Wait, what is he doing? The hell? He's kicking the packages to people's doors. How is he not fired? I put on a coat and shoes and run outside to the pouring rain. Hey, asshole. What makes you think that's okay? Generate. The hell do you mean? You're kicking people's packages. You're gonna break whatever's inside. And not my problem. I'll just let them believe the seller didn't, pack didn't package it properly. The boxes are all soaked in water and mud. How could you think any of this is okay? Look, my hands are already dirty. I don't need them wet, too. I found some gloves! As I dropped the box by accident, and I dropped the box by accident, it was heavy. It's just easier to kick it to Jacob's door. What? He continues kicking the box forward. There's a sticker on the side of the box that reads fragile. It sounds like there's shattering, shattered glass inside. Even if Austin hates Jacob, this is not professional at all. If Austin is willing to do this to my neighbor's package, I'm sure he's willing to do this to anyone. Hey, what are you doing? I ring my neighbor's doorbell. Jacob pokes his head out the door with a grin. Oh, I thought it, was, I thought it said gun. Good morning, what's up? I caught Austin kicking your package around. He's... He did what? Uh oh. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Hey, back off, I'm trying to do my job. Terribly? You ain't doing shit, look how banged up my package is. You did this on purpose. Since you're here, I'll just leave the box where it is. God, I don't have time for this. Austin scurries back into his mail truck as he turns his keys and gives me a hard stare. Are you happy now, Degenerate? Shut up! I'm talking! Austin steps on the gas pedal and tries to get as far away from us as possible. I'm gonna get you fired, asshole! The rain continues to pour down on us. Jacob doesn't seem bothered, probably too angry to care. He lifts his soaked box from the muddy ground and walks back to his porch. That sucks. I wish Austin wasn't such a jerk. I'm really sorry this happened to you. He seemed to calm down a bit from my voice. I'm glad you told me what happened. Didn't expect him to be any lower of a scumbag than he already is. My neighbor opens his front door and places his wet box on the, on the floor mat. Whoa. Over there. <laughs> he huddled... We huddled under his porch roof. Lightning strikes were completely visible over our heads. That was a close one. I'm glad you're safe. Wait, lightning strikes can actually like happen to people in Texas? 
Come on, you should come inside until the storm passes. I'm gonna be... I wanna be adventurous. I'm gonna be dangerous. I step inside of my neighbor's house, making sure to wet my shoes on the floor mat. Oh my. Another lightning strikes. Strike flashes from the window. It nearly touched the ground. Jeez. Haven't had brutal weather like this in quite a while. But whenever we get storms, I like to cook up something that tastes extra good on a cold, wet day. Like this one. Something does smell good. Something sweet. I was bringing some homemade chocolate chip cookies. Okay. If you want, we can you can come help me in the kitchen. Sounds way better than doing nothing. Great, let's get cooking. Okay. Here's where the magic happens. Well, some of it. So I, uh, I actually have everything I need out already. The oven is still preheating. Before we start, let's wash our hands. After washing our hands, I stand next to the counter with the ingredients spread out. Okay, Degenerate. You can start mixing the ingredients together. I'm gonna chop up the chocolate. You're chopping chocolate? Yeah, I'm not using regular chocolate chips from the store. I like to get a big chocolate bar and cut it in small cubes. <laughs> I guess these are chocolate chunk cookies. Cute. Jacob hands me a bowl and spoon. I, I pour the flour, baking powder, and baking soda together. Blonde man opens a drawer and pulls out a kitchen knife. Be careful. He started chopping away at the large candy bar. Little chunks of chocolate piled up on his cutting board. The sugary fragrance of the chocolate has already tempted me. Was already tempting me. I guess cookies will be my breakfast for today. <laughs> so... On the topic of cookies, do you have a favorite dessert? Cheesecake. That's literally my favorite. Oh, and ice cream! A dessert? Well, I do like vanilla cake chocolate chip cookies. Vanilla cake?! Chocolate chip cookies?! Strawberry ice cream? Well, I do occasionally like the strawberry ice cream. All these are good, but I don't like chocolate chip cookies like the hard ones. I don't want a hard cookie. I want one of those chewy cookies. Let's go with the, the ice cream. I love the sweet and refreshing taste of a cold strawberry ice cream. Well, that does sound good. I've never made homemade ice cream before. Maybe I could try making some first to try it someday. I stir the remaining ingredients into the bowl. Butter, vanilla extract, brown sugar, regular sugar, salt, and some eggs. Everything is beginning to form into a light brown dough. Now that we got- now that we have- now all we have left is to add the chocolate. Jacob takes his knife and sweeps the chunk into the bowl. Stir it briskly. I stir it briskly, making sure the bits mix evenly within the dough. Good job! Looks like the oven is ready too. I'll start getting- I'll start setting up the baking tray. I set the bowl back on the counter and notice something. Somehow Jacob got a bit of chocolate in his- Of course. It's small, but it's there. Tell Jacob, wipe it off for him. Let's just tell him. We don't want to do too much. You got a bit of chocolate on your cheek. Oh, do I? He wipes the right side of his cheek with a nearby napkin. No, other side. He wipes again, but on the left. Yep, you got it. Dang, am I that messy? How did the chocolate even end up on my face? Oh my gosh, Jacob! You did that on purpose. I know he did. He wanted me to do it. You're so... He's something else. Jacob, I know you did that on purpose. Come on now. That's why I wasn't... No. Mm -mm. Jacob rolls pieces of dough into little balls to fit into the tray. He then places it into the oven. Okie dokie. Now we just gotta wait a few minutes. Thanks for being my sous chef. You're welcome. I know these cookies are gonna taste even better with your help. No problem. I can't wait to try the cookies. The steady pattern of rain on the rooftops is not stopping. There's Matt itchy. Thunder is a little- is still rumbling above us. So, uh, what should we do while we wait? Well, before you got here, I was actually doing a bit of scrapbooking. Just reorganizing a few things around. 
his eyes start to look behind me. I ordered some new camera lenses, but I know they're completely lost. Thankfully, the place I ordered them from accept damage returns from poor handling, so at least I'm not at a loss. I'll just have to wait a little longer before I can test out these lenses. It's for my cameras. Okay. What makes the lens so special? The lens I ordered are called zoom lenses. A zoom lens lets me see really far away. Perfect for long distance sightseeing. Oh, neat. Is there something specific you want to use your zoom lens for? Maybe for taking pictures of birds, some large wild animals, smaller fellas too. With a zoom lens, I can pretty much take pictures of anything. Nothing can get out of my sight. Creepy! Well, this storm really ain't calming down. Anyways, I also want to take some photographs of a few landscapes and other na nature scenery. If you ever want to get into photography, just let me know. I'll even let you borrow some of my cameras. Thanks, Jacob. That's nice of you to offer. I'm gonna go check on the cookies. Feel free to take a seat on the couch. He left the scrapbook there? I, and I have the choice. I'm gonna have the choice to look at it. I sit myself on his comfy couch and notice an open book on the table. There were a few Polaroid photos strewn about. A lot of these show a much younger Jacob. Good news, the cookies are done. He sits next to me with a hot plate of fresh cookies. Ooh, man, this looks so good. Go ahead, take the first bite. Peace. Peace. I take a big cookie from the top of the stack and bite into it. The cookie was soft and moist. <gasps> Perfect! The warm chocolate practically melted into my mouth. Jacob, these are the best damn cookies I've ever had. I'm glad you like- I need this recipe, please. My neighbor seems flattered and chuckles at my over-exaggerated desperation. Okay, here, I'll write it down real quick for you. After hand handing me the best goddamn cookies in the world recipe, my attention goes back to the table. Jacob grabs a cookie and flips through some of the pages of his scrapbook. I notice some of these pictures have you as a teenager. Yep, this scrapbook is specifically dedicated to my high school years. I found a few old pictures in one of the boxes while I was cleaning last week. I decided today was a good time to organize them. Jacob takes a big bite of his cookie. I picked up one of the Polaroids off the table. Oh, look at that. That's the picture of when my dad took us to Louisiana one summer. Some of the best crawfish and gumbo you'll ever have is in Louisiana. I found that eating the crawfish with your bare hands makes you feel like a raccoon. Well, to me at least. The dog in the photo looks really cute. Was this your dog? Yeah, her name is Lucy. My dad got me her for her birth for my for a birthday gift when I was a kid. Lucy, Lucy is a very cute dog. She looks like a Labrador. Yep, she's a Labrador Retriever. Very friendly dog. I miss her a lot. Aw. He took another bite of his cookie. That's your dad. Oh, yeah, who took the photo? My mom took the photograph using my Polaroid camera. I don't have that many photos of her. She never really wanted to be in any of them. Has your mom been okay? We didn't really see eye to eye on a lot of things. About a month after I graduated high school, I packed my things and left her house. I haven't talked to her since. Dang. I picked out another photograph from the table. Uh oh. Oh, look at his hair! This one's cute. What's the story here? Jacob takes a quick glance at the photo. Oh, that's me and Sarah at the country fair. We were both sophomores in high school. Was she one of your friends? Yeah, we were friends since when we were in kindergarten. Sarah. Okay, no, yeah, we're fine. I thought it was one of the victims. I was about to be like... I was about to go crazy. There was a long, drawn-out pause during the conversation. Jacob just continued nibbling away at the rest of his cookie. So, what happened? What happened to Sarah? We stopped being friends in senior year at high school. That's all. The tone of his voice became harsh. 
He grabs another cookie, this time really shoving the whole thing into his mouth. Sorry. Sensitive topic, I get it. I'll <laughs> take that as a hint to move on. The endless drops of rain and occasional rumble of thunder was the only sound between us. I kept my eyes on the photo for a little longer. They looked so happy together. Imagining childhood friends separating from the last on the last year of high school sounds painful. Does it? There's a Polaroid sticking out loosely from one of the scrapbook pages. He should not have had this out. Like, <laughs> I can't. I can't. The photograph was dark and somewhat grainy. All I can make out was the street with someone's back facing the camera. Because that's definitely Sarah. What's this one? He looks at the picture I was holding and takes it out of my hand. I'm so sorry. It's nothing special. This picture was for an old class assignment. My photography class let us take pictures of different categories. It was for street cat photography. Street photography is capturing everyday life events, usually within a city or town. I like taking pictures of people walking, just going around the town, minding their own business. I sneak a view of the photograph again. Is that Sarah? Did I strike on her? Does it matter if it is? Honestly, I don't care. This little attitude here? Changing some things. It's just some street photography. Call her one day in town and decide to snap a few photos for my assignment. That's fine. If you just aren't weird about it, it won't seem suspicious. This one actually needs to be put in a different scrapbook. And what's this one called? The Spank Bank? <laughs> I'm kidding though. The Murder Mystery Book? He slides the Polaroid into his pants. I think I'll continue my scrap with him. It can get pretty busy having a bunch of pictures all out at once. You can keep looking if you want. I flip through the remaining pages of his scrapbook. Even though it's sectioned off by year, there doesn't seem to be any photos from his senior year. I'm guessing that has to do with Jacob and Sarah cutting ties with each other. So Jacob, did you have any other friends in school? Oh, I did. Monty, Steve, and Kenny. The last time they all talked was when prom was happening. None of us had dates, but all our moms forced us to go to prom anyways. We were all going to hang out together, but I ended up leaving the prom early. I couldn't bear to see her anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to have this be the topic of conversation. The man next to me takes a deep breath. I always wanted to slow dance. Never even got the chance. Since I am the one who started this, I will offer to slow dance with you. <laughs> you what? If you want, I can slow dance with you. It's pretty easy. He just sits there, wide-eyed, still shocked by my offer. Want to slow dance with me? Right now? With no music? Yeah, why not? I know it won't be the same as a prom slow dance, but if it's something you want to try, I'm down. Jacob immediately gets up from his spot, slides out a box from under the table. He pulls out a record. He just had it ready? Oh my gosh. There's a lot of ballads and love songs I like from the 1950s. This is one of my favorites. If we're gonna slow dance, I've always wanted to try it to the song. It was a catchy and soft tune with some tender sounding lyrics to follow. I get up from my spot and stand in front of Jacob. Okay, put one of your hands on my shoulder and place the other hand around my back. Like this? Yes. Yeah, just uh, loosen your grip a bit. You're giving my shoulder a death squeeze. Sorry, I'm still a bit nervous. That's okay. Now you want to gently sway your body side to side. Jacob follows my lead, and his once ten script started to relax. You did a good job! Thanks. I take a step off to the side, guiding his body with mine. We slowly twirl around the floor in each other's hold. He swallowed hard, and his breathing seemed to quicken. You dance better than my prom day, and then- Are you nervous? I don't know. Let's compliment him. 
Really? Yeah, you've got a good rhythm and you're lying on your feet. My date somehow managed to constantly step on my toes during our- I actually had to put an ice pack on my feet when I got home. Oh, that does sound pretty bad. I think this was a good choice. At least the bruises went away after a while. If anything, I wish I went with a different person. Halfway through the party, I found out my date cheated on me. Then I was left alone for the rest. Oh, wow. What an asshole. I'm sorry you had to experience that, especially in the same night. Eh. It's all in the past now. Although I'm sure... I would have much rather have you as my prom date. Wait, really? Me? Yeah, I mean, you're pretty nice and haven't stepped on my toes yet. You don't know how much that means for me to hear that from you. I can feel our bodies pressing closely together. His body is incredibly warm. There's actually something I've been waiting, wanting to tell you. Perfect. Whoa, what happened? Looks like we got a power outage. Don't worry though, I'll have s I have some flashlights nearby. I'll be right back. That was so scary. <laughs> I was like, perfect. He can tell me right now. It's fine. Because I know it's him. Come on. We're not that dumb. Well, apparently. I should have named myself Wyatt. I could somewhat make out Jacob's silhouette as he descends deeper into the pitch black. I can't see a thing in the dark. And the storm clouds outside are muting any source of metro light. I don't know if that said mudding or muting. Regardless, I stay put. Hey, do you need help finding the flashlights? Even though I can't see? It's taking Jacob so long. What else am I gonna do? Maybe he needs help. I don't want to go too far, though. I, I said stay put. I wave my arms in front of me, feeling for my surroundings. Jacob, did you find the flashlights? Jacob, are you there? I only hear my own voice within the room. I'm not imagining things, right? Ah, oh, no! Not the creaking. No. Jacob, hello? Is there someone else inside the house? No. Possible. This guy's got locks all over his door. It's nothing. My imagination is just making me hallucinate these things. Right? What? I just heard it. Is something smelling me? What the hell? Jacob, is that you? This is just like Lawrence's. When you do, um, when you have the too much drugs one. It says, like, stop all, like, multiple times. Hello, can you hear me? Please. <laughs> oh. My. Goodness. <laughs> my eyes. Thank you for playing the demo. I, I can't, I can't. That was full version. Oh my gosh. Full version of Looking for Love is currently in the works. The full game will feature taco option, multiple endings. You may survive, but you may also perish. Gallery feature to look at the artwork. More Jacob lore and much more stalking to come. Oh my gosh. And then this. Well, that was <laughs> that was looking for love. Very much Lawrence vibes, you know. I know a lot of people probably like him because of that fact. Uh, when the full game comes out, I definitely do want to play it. Definitely, because it's like I do want to know more. And Sarah is definitely dead. We know that for sure. And I feel like he might also be responsible for those two deaths that were mentioned in that news program. If you guys enjoyed, because I, I did, I did enjoy it. If you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like, comment. 
Uh, and I will see you guys next time. That was terrifying. <laughs>